Hey there, <laughs> welcome back. Thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see videos when they first come out, hit that notification bell. Likes, comments, and questions are welcome. So I have been stirring this for a couple of three minutes, which is what you need to do. Now this is half A and half B on resin mixtures. Pretty much any of them you get have an A and B. You want to uh, measure it for the ounces and not weight. It just doesn't do weight wise. So that's how you go. <laughs> and there's my Henry. Henry friend. Oh, hi, Henry. So, he's not used to me being down here. Um, I'm not used to being down here. So, the colors I've got going is, I'm going to do mermaid. Forced rain green from Pinata. And this is vineyard. And this is going to kind of be mermaid colors. So, I'm going to, oh. And I'm going to use my Blanco Blanco from Pinata. Add some white in here. Now, I've got a finger caught on. Let me show you those. Instead of just doing the whole glove, which typically when you're doing this part of it, you just need the one. So, they're like this. You know, some people call them little finger condoms. Other calls them finger cots. So, you know, there we go. Saves money. All right. So, I'm going to get this good and epoxied. I've already sanded it, sprayed it. And now I'm about to go again. Now, I did lightly, mm -mm, now I did lightly sand after I painted. So, the paint I used is this, and sanded it, wiped it off with some alcohol, sprayed it, sanded it again. So, we're ready to go. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to put the epoxy on. And this just takes some time, so just understand you're going to be doing this for a second. Oh, good grief, my cats. Now this mat I've got on, I'm not too worried about it. It's a silicone mat. I could save myself some trouble and not um, let it drip onto a silicone mat because I will have to still clean it. But um, I could put a tray or something like that under it. This just takes some time. You're going to have to work it. Now, notice I've not gotten into doing this yet. I'm going to save it. I'm trying to get all this part done. I really want it to go the other direction. There we go. I'm struggling a little bit. I was like, why am I struggling with this? I'm used to working with it going this way.
that is, I just got it, okay. This is just a nice little way to rake it. I'm not going to let it drip down over the side. I just want it to kind of go to the edge. So that's why I'm kind of just working it there, but not working it a whole lot. There's so many ways to do this. I find it easier just to not get it on that edge. I've tried all kinds of things and maybe I just didn't master them. Okay, don't worry about these spots. It's just where the paint got thin. All right, I'm all covered. Now, I put about 20 on this. I have, I don't know, five, maybe three left. I may put some of that on later. But right now, I am just wanting to do this. Something else right there. Okay. All right, now I'm going to take, you can do a heat gun, you can do a torch. I like my torch. I'm just going to get all the bubbles out and kind of warm it up a little bit. Now, I'm going to start dropping in some colors. So first thing I'm going to do is mermaid. And I'm not going to really worry about doing the end. That's an easy one to do. After a couple of drops, it's ready to go. Go ahead and put some white in here.
And I'm just warming this up a little bit. I want it to start kind of running on me, but not to the point uh, that I have problems. some blue back in here. I like a little bit more blue. Now I am going to take this off the turner. And this is where I'm going to start tilting it up and down like this. This is where you start that swirl. This is good stuff. I am liking this. I mean, I'm really at this point wanting to stop. This is pretty cool. I like the difference in colors. I like the movement. I want to put something there. I almost got myself in trouble. See what happens when you hold it too long? It started going. I need to keep it rolling. But I like the look of that. That's pretty cool. So keep tilting it down. Rotate it a little bit. Can you see it's moving slow? So I want to get moved a little slow. And I don't care if it doesn't come to the edges here. That does not bother me. Now I do want to do the end, and I didn't do that before. And you probably, oops, you can see a color. I know this is so hard to see. I'm gonna back up a little bit, see if I can't get you better view on what's going on. I'm trying to get some stuff over into this white right here. This is one, it's kind of hard to film. You need to just be kind of all over the place in it, but this is pretty cool. So after this settles, I will epoxy. Look at those little cells. That's so awesome. So I will epoxy over this. I'm 
And see, look at that making it move. And that's what you want to do, just little spots. Like I say, I don't mind it not coming all the way to the edge. I just don't want it to be a gap. All right. So, here is where I'm going to, I think, put it back on the roller because I am very happy with that. So, I'm going to put it back on the roller and let it start its thing. Now, at this point, I'm done. I might like a little bit right through there, but now I'm going to do that, I think, on the roller. Now, I did not do this with a respirator. I have one around my neck. It's not helping. But I can't talk with that thing on. And I have a good, pretty good ventilated area. So um, just for filming, I have not worn it. But when I do these most of the time, actually all the time, I will wear them. It's a good thing to do. If you need to, tilt your turner. Now, okay, I'm, I'm going to let this one ride. I am liking it, except for these little white spots. I'm not thrilled, so what color do I want to put there? Blue. I think I want to put a blue. That will bleed in, it will do fine. It'll just kind of do its thing. All right. This is where you look over it. You see if there's anything you need to touch up. But yeah, that one's done. I like it. These aren't hard to do. Get out and try them. Get out and have some fun with them. You want your light coming from the side too, so you can really see if there's any bubbles or anything. But as much as we've torched it, I don't have any bubbles in there. So, all right. We're going to let this one do its thing, and we're done. All right, y'all go have fun.